Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first Arcade Versary Tech Review. I'll be your reviewer, Jackson Keyboard, aka The Professor, aka J Keeb. We're going to be reviewing Ubuntu Touch OS de Developer Preview on my trusty uh, CDMA Sprint Galaxy Nexus. I just put this on my phone yesterday, and uh, it's so it's customized for the Toro Plus. Uh, that's the Galaxy Nexus uh, Sprint version. This is very, very developer preview e. Uh, bugs all over it. Most of the apps don't actually work. This is just kind of a let's see how it looks sort of deal here. So it's non-functional, but we can get a good. Uh, a good look at what it's going to be in the future and I have to say it's going to have some potential really no buttons a lot of swiping but no physical buttons for this operating system just gestures so we're going to swipe here this is the Ubuntu unity bar off to the side if you have Ubuntu you're familiar with this and uh, you have web apps you have native apps uh, see Twitter here Facebook the usual stuff and then also your native stuff like your phone and your camera apps all right let's swipe here so a swipe off to the side gets you the uni bar a swipe the other way gets you to your home screen so there's your frequent apps there's your uh, favorite people on a carousel I don't know anybody here obviously this is the developer preview so this is just a let's see what it's gonna be in the future so you have recent music popular videos uh, people keeping in touch there um, haven't loaded anything on here this is all just just preview stuff so here we have installed apps frequently used apps and uh, let's see we have installed apps we have available apps for download and uh, there is no downloading at this point I can't get anything on here but uh, we uh, we can get to the browser from here though so let's do that All right, having a little trouble. here we go alright shouldn't take long Okay, it's going to a desktop version of the Ubuntu homepage first. You got your pinch to zoom, usual stuff. Uh, flick up, you have your search bar, and uh, we'll go to arcadeversary.com. Now, this is a pretty good keyboard we have here. Uh, it's responsive, accurate. Uh, it feels kind of like an Android keyboard. Didn't expect much different. So let's search here and see how long this takes. Alright, there's the Arcadeversary site. That's a sexy ass little site right there. Uh, and uh, So it loaded fast and uh, it's clear, it's, it's nice, it's showing everything there definitely check out arcadeversary.com let's swipe back and we'll get back to the apps now we have a running apps section there at the top Ubuntu one connects you uh, to your to your cloud it's your cloud service for Ubuntu um, basically connects to your desktop and will connect you to the cloud uh, to put all your files and whatnot, much like Google Drive or iCloud does. Here's the movie uh, videos page. We have a featured carousel. We have a recent. Let's try. Let's try Ted here. Okay, you can buy it on Amazon or you can rent it from the Ubuntu One store. Uh, you can rate it, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work now, but. Yeah, this is uh, pretty nice to have a whole screen just for videos. Popular online videos. That'll probably go to YouTube, probably Vimeo, those types of places. So let's 
swipe here. You have a whole page here just for videos. Alright, let's see. It's hard to flick to the side where well, you always get that Unity screen, but when you're trying to get to different pages, you uh, end up getting that Unity bar. Okay, here's the people bar, uh, people page. One day these will be real people that I know, but alas, I do not have this many friends. These are all fake people, and uh, music will be there one day. Um, surprise! I don't know why they don't have a carousel like the video app, the fake, the fake stuff. But uh, hey, maybe we can load some music on there later. So that's pretty much the basics. You have some games on here. Uh, maybe check out the music app. All right, that's. Don't think that's gonna work. All right. So the bar at the top here, the notification bar, you pull down, uh, but you have to pull down right at uh, the, the icon that you want. So if you want sound, you have to pull down the sound icon. They're a little small, but I don't really mind it too bad. The, so you can get to all your messages this way. I like that. It's kind of a convenient way to organize um, all of your utilities. So you can. This has all everything integrated. Your your Facebook, Gmail, uh, phone calls, Skype. Every every message that you can get is put into the messages center here. So let's see. Uh, battery there. Seventy seven percent. You can control the brightness without too much trouble. Very responsive. Search doesn't work, haven't gotten it to work, probably is just for show at this point. There's your time, date and time. And uh, let's see. Ah, it's hard to get this accurately. Well, uh, I have lunch with Anna at 12.30. That is not true. I don't know Anna. So that's pretty much it. Um, this, uh, as of right now, it's very responsive. Uh, UI wise I understand that it doesn't have much available to do yet but in terms of how it's gonna look and feel this uh, this uh, OS will do it for you right now if you get the developer preview so let's check this out real quick here's your phone app it gives your conversations your contacts uh, the, all the things that make a smartphone a phone so it's organized really well I like it's a little bit more it's a little bit more feature rich than the Android version here. I think it's integrated a little bit better. They've definitely learned from Android mistakes. There's a good chance Android will pick up some of this in the future. So uh, check out arcadeversary.com and uh, at arcadeversary on Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and rate this a 6 out of 10. I feel like uh, it's not ready to be fully rated yet. Maybe I'll come back and do an update with a with a better version. Um, I like it. Um, giving it a six just for the just for the the UI that I've experienced here. I'm gonna come back to it later.